Chris here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another speed build and today I'm going to go ahead and do something a little bit different because today I'm actually going to be building my real life home. So I have done, well try to do a few attempts of this in the past but it never ever works out. I've probably done it like at least three or four times and um, I've, well that was kind of a long time ago and I feel like since then my building skills have maybe improved a little bit so I thought I'd go ahead and try it again and I felt like it actually worked out this time. So um, you can actually go ahead over to the gallery, my origin ID is real thomas tv1 if you'd like to go ahead and download this house for yourself and um yeah so i just want to put this out at the start of the video i'm really not bragging here that's one of the reasons i've been putting it off because i feel like some people are going to take it that way and they're really not so hopefully nobody's going to think of it that way um so yeah i just want to say that at the start of the video before we get into it so um this house here um if you well if you don't know i live in the uk and um this is my house here it has uh, four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and um, we've actually changed one of the bedrooms into kind of like a study room because we don't actually need that extra bedroom, so we might as well change it into something we're going to actually use. Um, so I'll talk about that room in once we get onto it a little bit later. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going around with the placement of um, items here and everything. Now, one problem I had throughout this build was trying to get everything in terms of the furniture in the exact same places. Now, that was pretty hard to do, so I couldn't really do that, and that's kind of just being realistic. That's kind of impossible to do, really. Since, you know, we don't have everything that we have in The Sims, um, you know, in real life. Uh, well, sorry, the other way around. And, um, yeah, so that made it a little bit difficult. And, you know, just trying to get the placements right, proportions right of the rooms were also a little bit difficult. But I did try my best here. Now, in terms of The Sims, like, there are a few things that I had to add in to make it look right in The Sims. So, for example, there are a couple of plants that aren't really where they would be in real life. Like, at the front of the house, I went ahead and added in an extra tree. I mean, that doesn't really matter. It, it, like, to make it real life, it's kind of, if you think about in the in The Sims, having an area which isn't landscaped and the rest of it is doesn't really look right so I went ahead and just added a few more plants in here and there and also another thing is um wait what was it I was going to say I've totally forgotten now I don't know why oh yeah that was it in the um kitchen I've actually added in a little island because it was a little bit of too much of a blank space um in the middle of the kitchen so I went ahead and added in a little island um which we don't actually have but I felt like having that would be make it look better in the sims in terms of filling up the space and not having it as blank and undecorated so I went ahead and did that um I know that doesn't make it realistic but it's only one little area a minor little thing and um, so I'm hoping people don't mind about that um, so I just went ahead and did that and you know if you want to download it then you can just easily take it out it's only four little counters and um, put together and we'll get on to that a little bit later. Um, another thing I want to point out is that today's video might actually be the first video that I'm using my first um, intro and outro, well, my new one, um, my new intro and outro, because um, I have had these for quite a long time, actually, and um, my previous ones, and I felt like it was needed for an update. Um, I, you know, there's nothing wrong with my previous ones. I really, really like them, especially my um, banner, um, because that was actually made my, uh, can't speak, made by my good friend, Jen, um, ex Urban Sims X, so, um, and sh she'd actually surprised me one day by making that. I wasn't expecting it all she probably felt bad for me by my bad um <laughs> editing skills and um my graphic design skills but she went ahead and made that for me the blue one that i had previously and i used that for probably about six months i think it was like at the end of november 2016 when she sent me that and i've been using it ever since then but i felt like it was you know time for an update so i went ahead and just changed all my things my color scheme is um back to green if you haven't been watching my channel for that long um i did used to have a green color scheme before it went to blue and um, that was kind of just a fit in with a blue plum bob and the sims i felt like that was a good color related to the sims um, and i'm actually back to that now um so i've also changed my profile picture my um um, banner and intro and outro those are the couple of things that I've changed I am um, on all my platforms as well like Twitter and Sims Amino and everything like that um, and yes yeah, so I'm just going around here with the placement of everything and um, so I don't know if I mentioned this but in um, a lot of my speed builds I kind of go in between kind of you know doing a bit of uh, landscaping going in to do the floor plans going back outside to do a bit of decoration so I kind of just go back and forth I don't know why I do it it probably be easier for me to kind of focus on one area get that done and then move on to another one I don't know why I just do it in random order as it's a bit odd I think um, but it just works for me. So um, as you can see, I've just paused because I actually had a few pictures and Google Maps up on my other monitor so I could go ahead and see everything and make sure I was trying to get everything the best I could. Um, but of course, like I said earlier, it is The Sims, so I did have to change a few things up here and there, minor things, just to make it look right in game. Um, so um, this is actually a detached house. And one of the things is that on the right hand side of the house here, looking from the front, there's actually no windows on the side of that house. Um, and that's because um, it is a detached house, but there is kind of like a small gap in between the house um like 
where the next door neighbor's gate is. Um, so there isn't really any need for, like there isn't like there would be pointless to have windows on that side. Like what you're gonna look out as? They're just you, if you ha- if there was windows there, you'd just be looking out the brick wall of the house next to us. So um, it's just blank on that side of the house. Um, just to make it you know, I guess. Well, I just for, since that's kind of proving my point of having to adapt things in The Sims. I had to go ahead and do that because it lo- wouldn't look right having a complete plank wall there. And also inside the house in terms of furnishing wasn't look right either. So, I mean, it's only a little minor thing, a few windows there. I don't really think it made a huge big difference. And um, yeah, so I'm just going around here, added in a few um, decorations in the back garden here. Um, so as you can see there where that hose pipe is on the wall, it looked really weird because it's literally exactly the same as real life. <laughs> and um, yeah, so, well, well, as you can see there, I put climbing frame in there. Now, I actually have a slide and um, which I had when I was a kid and then my sister has it now um, and I don't actually we don't actually have slides in game unless you have CC and I didn't want to use CC so I just went ahead and used this climbing frame I felt like it was you know the most um kind of like the closest thing to that and um yeah so I'm just going around with some landscaping in here um as you can see those hedges um I did we do actually have plants like individual little plants there as well um within those hedges which you can see but when I try to do them in game it kind of just went inside those hedges and it didn't look right so I went ahead and missed that out so I'm just finishing up with the landscaping here and um, for the back garden, getting in the decorations on that side of the uh, build here. And I'm um, just doing a few plant pots here as well. Um, I wasn't really too sure where, what to put on that side there because where, as you've seen those two individual um, plant pots next to that side door, we actually have the slide there. Um, I mean, not on the, we don't actually use it there. We just put it there when we're not using it um, out the side of the way. And that kind of takes up the full space there. But in game, it wouldn't really look right. So I just went ahead and put a couple of plant pots there just to fill up that space. Um, so I'm just putting a couple of cars in here, which is my mum and dad's car here, and um, just putting that in the front there. And um, they're not actually that colour, I just couldn't find the right colours in game, so I just went ahead and used what we have. Um, so I'm just looking on the garage here, which is probably the most challenging room of the house. It was very difficult to decorate because um, well, my dad actually has a rotor bike, so it couldn't really, we don't have that in game, so it couldn't, act, like it doesn't look as realistic. Um, so I went ahead and put a couple of gym equipment items in there, because um, I felt like that was something that you might find in a garage. Um, a lot of people do that in terms of converting their garage into kind of like a multi-purpose room. Um, and yeah, so... I don't have mentioned this, but this house was built in 1997, um, and we've kind of been doing a few renovations since then, like, you know, with um, changing the doors and windows, kind of uh, renewing them, um, which is something that a lot of people have done in our city, because it was all built at the same time. And it was really nice, actually, because my mum and dad actually got to see the house being built, um, which was really nice. They've lived there their whole life. I have as well. Well, no, they have it. I have. Um, I've been here since I was born. And I'm really, really happy here. It's a really nice house. And um, I'm just, everything is great, I think. And um, yeah, so I'm going to be working on my bedroom and things upstairs a little bit later. Um, I did cut out a few of those areas, though, in terms of what I included in the speed build. Because it did take me a while to kind of figure out what I was going to do. Try to plan out everything to make it look as real life as possible. Um, so I, you might see a couple of jump cuts during this video. Which is something I know a lot of people don't like. But in terms of this type of build, I kind of had to do that so it wasn't as boring. Because a lot of pauses and things like that. And um, which you may see that I don't manage to cut out because sometimes I don't actually see that in my timeline and I kind of just forget to cut it out, but it's only a few seconds. Um, so we're working on this little dining area here and um, we don't really use this dining room. Um, the table's actually kind of pushed up against the wall because we actually only use it for like special occasions. We kind of have a family kitchen table in the kitchen, which we use um, like kind of every day. But we do have one here, which we use on a special occasions, like I mentioned. There's also a keyboard there, as you can see, which is maybe a little bit of a random place to put it. But um, my sister did used to play that, um, and she doesn't really do lessons anymore. But it's kind of just something that we use every now and again for fun, I suppose. And it is still there in that exact place. Um, so I went ahead and put it there. But um, a little bit later, I felt like it didn't really look right in The Sims to have kind of like a formal looking room and then just a keyboard there. <laughs> so I went ahead and added that into the conservatory um, a little bit later, and I felt like that's kind of a better place to put it. Um, like my neighbor they have a drum kit in their um, conservatory um, which is probably not the best place to put it because kind of you think about it the, in the conservatory the wall's kind of a bit thin and it doesn't have the proper insulation as a proper house so it'd probably be you know a little bit um, noisy and my other neighbours actually have a drum kit up in their um, attic which is a little bit odd um, but it works and the houses that we have here in this estate aren't really attics as in um, kind of like what you have what people have in other countries like the US where it might be actual well actually we do have them in the UK but just not in this estate where you kind of like have a converted room 
um, in this estate at least, I don't really know of anybody who's done that, having a room up there. Um, so it was a little bit of a, a, a weird place to put it. Um, so as you can see there, above the garage, is kind of like where my room is. And then there's kind of like a garage with nothing above it. There's actually a little attic we have there, which is kind of store all our Christmas decorations. And then we also have the attic at the top of the house, which is kind of just used for storage and where all the water pipes are and um, that random housey airplane stuff I don't, I don't know what i'm trying to see here you, hopefully you know what i mean um so another thing i want to point out is that you maybe not know what a conservatory is because i know that you know a few people have uh, different names depending on what country you're in um in some countries i know you call them a sunroom um in the uk we call them a conservatory it's basically kind of like an extra room and um, that was added on after the house had been built um and it's kind of just a a summer room i guess it, it it's it's really you know bad because in the summer it's scorching hot in there and then in the winter it's absolutely freezing and um, a lot of people have actually been converting the roofs because the roofs are kind of like not really glass but they're kind of sort of see-through um they're kind of like i don't know what the word is they're kind of well they're not completely transparent but they are kind of a little bit um and yeah so it always gets very very hot in there in the summer and very cold in the winter um, but a lot of people have actually been putting proper roofs on there now we don't actually have those kind of transparent sort of roofs in the sim so i did have to go ahead and put a proper roof in there i think the roofing for the conservatory was a little bit odd and um, it was very very hard to do this and um, the conservatory roof it was i don't know why it just wasn't working out it's kind of like there's kind of like a point like a little decoration on the top which we do actually have in game which i didn't think to use um a little decoration on top like the point the middle point of the roof and then the roof kind of comes down from there but I kind of, that just wasn't working out in The Sims, so I just had to go ahead and use what I could. Um, and yeah, so we're working on the kitchen here, which I really, really like because, um, well, actually, I think it was in November 2016, we actually got the kitchen renovated. And the colour schemes that we got from the accountants in Parenthood are really, really realis realistic to what we actually have. Maybe this th could have been a little bit slightly, like, the, that orangey colour could have been a little bit more paler and it would have been perfect. And if the countertops were a little bit, um, if if the countertops actually would, um, then it would have been perfect. But these counters were the most closest ones to real life, so I went ahead and used it. And um, like I said, we don't actually have that, um, the island there. But if you think about it, if you think that there wasn't an island there and kind of picture how that would look, it would look really, really bare. So for the sake of The Sims, I went ahead and added that in just to make it look a little bit more realistic. But, you know, it doesn't really matter because you don't know what my real house like look, looks like. Um, that's kind of like the only place in the house which wasn't completely realistic and um, but I did, like i said i had to do it in terms of um make it look very, like well decorated in a way if you're going to use it for yourself on the gallery um, so I'm just going to around putting some decorations in here. Um, that room next to it, which we'll get onto in just a second, is kind of, we call it a utility room. It's basically where the washer and dryer is and stuff, which we don't actually have yet in The Sims. But I do believe we'll get it soon in the laundry theme for the Eco Living, well that's not the name of the pack, but the e Eco Living theme for the uh, collaborative uh, stuff pack that we're making with The Sims team. Um, so yeah, that could have been, I could have saved this video for then and made it a little bit more realistic in terms of a washer dryer. But I did go ahead and add a sink in that room because that's what we we'll actually have. And we'll get onto that in just a second um another thing i realized is when i went back to do the screenshots and that utility room the walls turned blue for some reason like the same color i had in my bedroom and i don't know why but i just did and i was like okay um, and i actually put it up in the galleries so i had to go back delete it change the wall colors and go back and put it on which was a pain but it's all right um, so this video may be a little bit pre-recorded. Um, I'm actually recording this on the 7th of July. Um, and today I actually have a, it's a teacher training day at school. I don't know if you have other names for that in different countries, but it's basically kind of like a day where um, school is closed while teachers are doing training. Um, so uh, school's off today, which is great. And um, since the exams that were had in late June, and um, the week, it was the 19th of June, I had exams, which I've talked about in previous speed builds. Um, and ever since then, kind of like our school um, timetable's been a little bit more uh, relaxed, I guess, because, you know, it's come so we're finished for summer on the 21st of July and then I go on holiday actually on the 22nd. I'm actually going up to Scotland for a week. Um I don't know if you of my viewers are from Scotland, so um, yeah, I'm coming up there on the 22nd for a week. Um, so this video is probably going to be during that week. I think I'm pre-recording um, this video is going to be included in those pre-recorded videos. Um, I'm just kind of getting a little bit ahead of my schedule there, which I normally do, but you know, um, I'm just because I have a bit of free time this weekend, so I thought it would be great. And also yesterday, Thursday, I was only in for literally an hour at, um, at college, and then I had the full day off, which was great. And um, today, this morning, I actually went for McDonald's for my breakfast, which I haven't done in such a long time, so it was nice to do that. Uh, 
for a little bit of change and a treat. And um, yeah, I'm actually drinking my coffee <laughs> from uh, McDonald's now. And I don't really like drinking during my videos and stuff. I mean, sometimes during my um, Let's Play videos, I kind of have a sip of water during um, those videos. But I don't know why. For a speed video, uh, oh my god, a speed video, I'd have to cut the voice over because it just kind of doesn't fit the video of pausing for a few seconds to have a sip of a drink. And um, yeah, so we're working on my bedroom here, as you can see. Now, my bedroom is a little bit difficult in terms of the shape of it because um, it isn't completely square, as you can see here. I actually have these built-in wardrobes in my room. I actually have six wardrobes in my room, which kind of sounds pretty crazy. Um, but I don't actually use all of them, only two of them. I use the rest of them I kind of use for storage for other people in the house because um, some rooms are a little bit smaller than others and they don't have you know space for everything, uh, which I don't mind because I wouldn't be able to fill up the space anyway. So that it, it's always been that way since we've got these uh, wardrobes and uh, I've kind of just grew up with that way. Um, and yeah, so I couldn't really do that with The Sims. Um, I mean, I could off with the get-together wardrobes, but I kind of would have got those are like two oh, I've, I've just smacked my microphone sorry about that I'll at least do that every single video at least once um so those wardrobes are kind of two by two which is a little bit too big I think um so I just went ahead and used some from City Living um and I didn't use as many because I felt like in the Sims it looked a little bit ridiculous um but in real life it kind of makes sense um, so I'm just working on my desk here, as you saw there, um, and one thing that, uh, well, I, well oh, another thing, actually, I've totally forgot to mention this, it's actually have done a real-life desk tour before, um, kind of like early March, I think it was, because I did get a new desk for my birthday, which was at the end of February, the 27th, um, and I got a new, I was in desperate need of a new desk, because, it kinda, like, I've had it since 2009, when I got my, few, uh, my first laptop, and I got that desk with it, um, and it's kind of like, the corners of that desk were like chipped off and my microphone stand like the boom stand that I have for my microphone and um, the clam stand was like digging into my desk and making like an indent in my desk and it was just a mess so I was in desperate need of an upgrade and I went ahead and got it and used it. I'm really really happy with it and um, it's kind of got this hutch thing on the back and I don't even know what the right word is. I think it's hutch it's basically kind of got like inbuilt shelves into the desk and if you want to go ahead and see what I mean then you can go ahead and watch that video um but I, I've really really wanted to upgrade to a road podcaster because I've been using this um, this microphone here, my Blue Yeti, for many, many years. I think I got it in like 2011, I got it. Um, and I've been using that for my previous channels as well, which I've talked about before, and um, which wasn't Sims related. And I use it for then all the time. And um, it's a really good microphone, but I feel like I need an upgrade just to make it, you know, a little bit um, better quality because I have been upgrading a few things recently in terms of my computer, like my um, graphics card. I've recently updated that. Um, actually bought it off X Seven Sims X. It was her, um, her graphics card that she was using. I think up to February twenty sixteen. Um, and I got her graphics card. Um, to use. Um, I bought it off her. It was a um. Oh my god, I totally forgot the name. Nvidia GeForce DX 980, and I've been using that since December 2016. Um, it's a great, great, great um, graphics card, and I think it's really improved my um, recording since then. Um, so I'm kind of just going around, you know, um, every now and again, updating things in my room just to kind of, in my desk, I mean, my setup, I should say, not my room, um, just to kind of improve my content. And um, yeah, so. Well, my point is about the road podcaster is that with my desk, there isn't really anywhere to put it. My room is a really, really awkward shape in terms of my desk, and everybody seems to be able to have a perfect desk with space in between them. Mine is literally pushed into the corner of my room, barely fits in my room. And um, the clamp stand from um, Boom Stand is kind of in my way. It's in a really awkward place, and you would have seen that in the uh, desk tour. And if I had a rude podcaster, I would have to take off this back bit of my desk, which I really, really like because I have lights on it and it looks really nice at night. I have storage on it. So if I'm kind of. I don't know if I should sacrifice that space for a road, a road podcaster. So let me know in the comment section if you think it's worth doing all that hassle. Or do you think my Blue Yeti microphone quality is good enough? I think it's pretty good. I just feel like, you know, it might be good to upgrade it at some point. So, we're working on the last room here, which is my sister's room, and um, this actually used to be my room, but it was painted a different colour. I didn't have a pink room. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so this actually changed into um, this room, and where my room is now, which you saw, it was actually a spare room, um, but it kind of swapped around once my sister came, and she had this room, and moved to the spare room, and it changed into mine. Um, so, as you can see here, um, I'm putting in my sister's desk. Now, I did put a computer in here. She does actually have a laptop, but um, we don't actually have those in game, so that was kind of the only thing I went ahead and used. Um, and this she here oh my god I can't speak her desk is actually in that um, computer room study room which we worked on just a little bit um, earlier um, and I didn't really think felt like in the sims it would look right to have like kind of like that neutral color room and then a random pink you know desk in there so I went ahead and put it in her room I felt like it looked a little bit better 
And um, yes, that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure in the comment section down below you let me know about what you thought of this build and if you have any other suggestions for future builds in the future. Make sure you leave a like, share and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you all next time. Bye!